Hello all, welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll tell you how you can make your own digital compass as you can see here. This works with the help of the HMC 5883L magnetometer sensor along with an Arduino Pro Mini. As you can see, the sensor is shown here and it has 8 LEDs surrounding it and using which we will detect the north direction. So now let me go into the schematics and give you a rough idea on what the circuit is and how it works. The PCB that you see here is a double side PCB meaning that it has components both on the top as well as on the bottom. It is a neat little PCB fabricated by PCB GoGo. We'll get into more on that later. But for now the Arduino Pro Mini and the battery is in the bottom part of the PCB which you can't see here for now. Let's get into the circuit diagram so that we'll get to understand more about it. So here it is, the circuit diagram of the PCB that I just showed here. Let me move this over here so that you will get a clear view of the circuit diagram. So as you can see, we just have the Arduino Pro Mini and the HMC 5883L magnetometer sensor. The Arduino Pro Mini is powered by the DC barrel jack here, which gives 9 volt unregulated voltage to the V in pin of the Arduino. The onboard voltage regulator of the Arduino then converts it to 5 volt, which is used to power the microcontroller as well as the sensor. There are 8 LEDs connected to the GPIO pins of the Arduino through a current limiting resistor of 470 ohms for each LED. Now once the circuit is ready, we can proceed with designing our PCB. Since we have to place the LEDs in a circular fashion, it's a lot better if you do a PCB than doing it on a breadboard or on a puff board. To design a PCB, you can use any software. So once your design is done, it should look something like this. Let me show you my design. So this is the design of the PCB that I showed earlier in the video. It shows you the cell screen, the top and the bottom layers, track pads and everything. So once your PCB is ready, you can take it for fabrication. Do not worry if you don't know how to do your PCBs because the Gerber file which contains all the details of the PCB will be given in the link that can be found at the description of this video. So it will be a zip file, something like this. Give me a second. Yeah. It will be a zip file, something like this, which you can download and you can take it to any PCB fabricator who can get your PCBs done. So this video was sponsored by PCBGoGo.com who are providing highly professional PCBs for cheap prices. And these PCBs will be shipped directly to your home. Now, let's get into their website PCBGoGo.com and have a look on what they are doing. So this is their website and few things that you should know about PCBGoGo.com is that they offer professional PCB prototype, PCB assembly and PCB layout services highly specialized in quick turn PCB prototype low and medium volume and they are the China's leading quality PCB assembly service providers. So yes, these guys are really awesome. So you can not only use them for PCB fabrication, but you can also use them for PCB assembly and you can even get an assembly stencil if you are into making your own pilot lot of your prototype or something like that. Now let me show you how I got my PCB done from them. So my PCB was 80 mm cross 80 mm in the dimension. So let me put 80 here and 80 here and I need 5 numbers. Oops five numbers and it's a double layer PCB with a thickness of 1.6 mm. Now before you click on code now make sure you're logged in. As you can see I'm already logged in because I have been using this service for quite a long time now. So once you're logged in click on code now. You'll be taken to the next page where you can change few more settings like the material that should be used, the minimum track spacing, the minimum hole size and all those stuff. So based on all these details, they'll calculate uh, the fees for manufacturing your PCB, which in my case is $5. And there are a lot of options for shipping as well. For example, if I'm shipping it to United States of America, I have so many options. Uh, and let me select China post for now and then once you're done with it you will be given a complete clear picture of what would be the manufacturing cost of your PCB so for mine it's like $13 so if you're okay with it click on add to basket and then it will ask for your Gerber file so as I told the Gerber file can be found in the link given at the description of this video or you can use your own Gerber files just click on this and Mine is on the desktop, just link it and click on submit order now, it will get uploaded and all is done. And it will take some time for them to review it, so approximately like 
three to four hours at the maximum. So once the review is done, click on proceed to checkout and then you will be taken to a payment page, which I'm not going to show you here, where you can make your payment. There are a lot of options to do your payment and the most commonly used one is PayPal, but I think there are also some other options which you can check out for yourself. So once your PCB is ordered, just hold tight. Within a few days, your courier guy will ring the doorbell with your PCBs neatly fabricated in it. Okay, so today I received my PCB from PCB Gogo. This is the package that the courier guy handed over to me. Let's go ahead and open it to see how our PCBs are. So the package was neatly packed. Nothing to worry about that. Let me just open it and see how the PCBs are doing inside. Too much of cell tape around. Let me open it carefully. So here we are. Okay, here they are. The PCBs are wrapped inside a bubble wrap. And there's nothing else inside. It's just the PCB around a bubble wrap with some stickers, probably something that they used for reference. So let me use the knife again and tear this bubble wrap away and reveal our PCBs. So here we have our PCBs finally revealed. Let me pull them out and remove this band-aid. Okay, fine. Here we have our PCB. It says manufactured by PCB Gogo because I added the logo there, but you won't be getting it if you don't add one. And the front part has the circle with the LEDs placed over there, the holes, the vias, the pads, everything looks just fine. So I'm, I think we can just proceed with assembling the components on top of it. Now let's go and solder the stuff on it. Okay, now here we are with our PCB completely assembled. As you can see on the back side, we have the Arduino Pro Mini and a 9 volt battery, which I have stuck using a double set tape. And on the top side, we have the eight LEDs along with their eight current limiting resistors and the magnetometer sensor, which is the HMC5883L. Now, let's go ahead and test the board. So how it actually works is that we have 8 LEDs here and as soon as I power the board there will be only one LED glowing and that one LED will represent the direction of north. For example if this LED is glowing it means that this direction is the north. So once you found the north direction you can just predict the other directions like if this is the north this will be south, this will be west and this will be east. So there will be always one LED glowing and that one LED will represent the direction of north. Let us go ahead and simply connect it to the 9 volt battery and here we go. We have only one LED so it means this LED is glowing so it means that this direction is the north. So even if you rotate the board it will always say that this direction is the north. It doesn't matter in which direction you rotate as long as you hold the board parallel to the ground there will be only one LED glowing and that one LED will represent the direction of the north. So this is how the project works guys. You can play around with it. You can do, you can go anywhere, try to trick it and then position it in a place and whatever you do there will be only one LED glowing and that one LED will give you the direction of north. So the code for this project I'm not going to explain in this video because I have done a complete documentation on it which you can find at the link given in the description of this video. So in that documentation I have explained you the hardware, the code and even the principle behind the magnetometer, how it works and stuff like that. So that's it guys. Hope you liked the video. If yes, give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe and see you on the next video. Until then, bye bye. Have a great day.